Welcome back. We're on the last devotional for the book of 1 Samuel. Let's read it. We're in 1 Samuel 31, verses 7 to the very end of the book. And when the men of Israel who were on the other side of the valley and those who were on the other side of the Jordan saw that the men of Israel had fled and that Saul and his sons were dead, they forsook the cities and fled, and the Philistines came and dwelt in them. So it happened the next day when the Philistines came to strip the slain that they found Saul and his three sons fallen on Mount Gilboa. And they cut off his head and stripped off his armor and sent word through the land of the Philistines to proclaim it in the temple of their idols and among the people. Then they put his armor in the temple of the Ashtoreths and they fastened his body to the wall of Beth Shan. Now when the inhabitants of Jabesh Gilead heard what the Philistines had done to Saul, all the valiant men arose and traveled all night and took the body of Saul and the bodies of his sons from the wall of Beth Shan, and they came to Jebesh and burned them there. Then they took their bones and buried them under the tamarisk tree at Jebesh and fasted seven days. Thus concludes the book of 1 Samuel. By the way, it's interesting, this book, uh, actually we have 1 and 2 Samuel. Actually, those are one book, but they've been split into two different books uh, along the way. 2 Samuel is really just carrying on of this. We're going to stop here. <clears throat> but anyway, let's think about these verses. So uh, Saul dies, Philistines come, they get the spoil, they find, because they were certainly looking for Saul and his sons, and they take them and they make an example. They, they uh, you know, nail their bodies to the wall so everybody can see how valiant the Philistines are. Look, here's the dead kings of king of Israel. And, and you know, it's also interesting. They are saying, well, this is because, you know, of our the gods that we worship, the fake gods that we have. They, they helped us have victory because they're putting them in the, in the temple of their idols. And it's also interesting that they are making this a religious matter. You know, we defeated the Israelites because of our gods, our superior gods, and so they proclaim it in the temple of their idols. Uh, now what I like is the very last part is that the men of Jabesh Gilead, they hear what's happened, they hear the infamy of, you know, having these bodies nailed to the wall, they travel all night, they go, they sneak up there and they take the bodies and bring them back. So they're not going to allow this this affront to continue. So even though we haven't heard of these guys before, who, who were they? Where'd they come from? There are valiant people. There are valiant people here. There are valiant people there. There are people who are just waiting God's call to be active in his service. And so when we feel all alone, you know, Elijah felt sometimes all alone, and, and yet um, God had to tell him, look, I've got thousands. I've got thousands. You don't even know who they are, where they are, but I've got them, and they are faithful to me, and they will not bow the knee to Baal. God, even today, has his thousands who would not bow and be defeated. They are on his team. Let's you and I make sure we're on God's team, and God will bless that. So, let's pray. Father in heaven, we've reviewed the stories in 1 Samuel, the entire book now, and we've hopefully taken some positive lessons. Bless, we pray, as you continue uh, the kingdom of Israel on into 2 Samuel. Help us to get the lessons that you wanted us to receive from this series of of presentations. And we just pray, Lord, that, that we would be, if we're not out there in the front right now, that somehow, Lord, we're among those faithful like the men in Jabesh Gilead who, who rose to the occasion and took away reproach from Israel. Bless us, Lord, and help us to be your servants, faithful to the end, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, that's going to conclude 1 Samuel, but tomorrow morning you can join me in a new book. We spent quite a bit of quality time back here in the Old Testament. We're now going up to the New Testament, and I'd like you to, uh, you could even read ahead a little bit. We're going up to the New Testament, and we're going to work in the, one of the Gospels again. We did the Gospel of Mark, and now we're going to work in the Gospel of Luke. So join me tomorrow morning, new series of devotionals, Luke chapter 1. Going to try to keep these even a little bit shorter, maybe four minutes. The prayers are going to be shorter and tighter, uh, but we'll carry on by reading the verse and just commenting on it. So you're invited. Come, come tomorrow morning. Let's worship together here on Larry the Guy from Michigan. Hey, have a wonderful day, and God bless you and be with you.